few scenes because we pay um, a fitness trainer and accountant here. Um, keeps you in it. Not going to take up too much time. I didn't really read the full report as I walked in here. But um, I just want to say that we can all agree that we don't want to see people go to jail at the end of the day. Um, I also understand that once a crime is committed, the system has to respond. I mean, it's in place for that reason. So, you know, we don't necessarily want to come up here and put the burden on the criminal justice system because obviously they have a job to do, so that's understandable. I want to talk about a balance that can be created, though. A balance that can be created because if you, if you can raise capital to build a new jail to respond to, let's say, the crime increase that's taking place, I think that the same initiatives can be taken uh, you know, to build, uh, to raise the same amount of capital to establish programs in the community here, all right? So, you know, I work with students at Kipsey High School and Middle School, all right? When I'm done with those kids, when they're, when, they're, when they're done with me and they go back out in the community, they have nothing to do. They have nothing to do, they get into trouble because there's nothing in place for these kids, all right? So then, that's where you get the crimes being uh, committed, all right, maybe uh, a parent in a household is not there, maybe the parent is incarcerated, maybe somebody's dealing with mental health issues. But if something can be put in place, uh, I think that would somehow minimize uh, the, the things that are taking place in this community. And I just, I'm just asking uh, the, the council here to, to somehow look at a balance, all right? I think the ship has sailed. There's not much we can do about a new jail being built at this point. I think the ship has sailed, all right? But the, the question is, now what? I mean, even if a new jail is not being built, the issues are still existing in this community. People are still dealing with mental health issues. Crimes are still being committed, but what can be done to prevent um, um, that from happening? And, and, and programs are good. I mean, uh, people here that came and, and uh, represented the, the incarcerated and the people in the community, I think also an initiative can be taking place among them to educate, all right, to educate the individuals of this community on what happens when they step into that courtroom, how they turn over their, their rights. Um, um, that's a whole other story, I'll introduce that here now, but something can be taking place to educate them, and, and so that the, the more that they know, I think it, it would allow them not to uh, go out there and commit a crime and not allow their lives to be controlled by a system. That's all I can say, thank you. Thank you. Bob Gabbard, Kipsey High School. Um, I'm a fire commissioner.